Hello, I'm going to show you today groups and how they are connected with Microsoft Project for the web, especially when you have many of them. So for this purpose, I will going to create very simple two projects. First will be project one. Okay, and I will create that project like here. I don't care about start date, nothing. And I will add task A, and I will say that I will assign a group, a brand new group. I will create a brand new group, which will be with the same name as my project is. Otherwise, I can here choose from select uh, uh, from group which already exists. But for this purpose, let's say that I am going to use uh, uh, Project one, and I'm going to assign John and Mary. Okay, and I'm going to create this group, and I'm going to assign John here. Okay, and I'm going to assign an ad. Okay, and I'm going to assign for this is, let's say, task B, sorry, I was on the wrong place, and here I will say Mary, and I will assign Mary here as well, and that's it. Now, I'm going back to project, and I create a blank new project, which will be called project 2. Here, project 2. And let's say that I need, I also don't, uh, don't care about uh, project manager uh, star date or something else, uh, or everything else. I'm going to close this, I'm going to group member, so I can here now choose between my blog project for the web and project one, which was created just a few minutes ago. But I'm going to create a, 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 a group, a special group for this project too. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say that here is going to work Peter, and here is going to say, hola. And I'm going to create one group member, sorry, I didn't assign Paula. Okay, Paula. Here it is. Task C here. Task D here, Peter here, Paula here. Now I'm going to visit my Microsoft Project Admin Center and I'm going to refresh this page. And after it, it will be refreshed, I will see that I have groups. Okay, I mean my active groups, project one and project two. Now, what is the purpose of this video? When you go to project, and let's say that I want to erase project, uh, uh, project two, or I don't need it anymore, or it is done, or whatever, I'm going to delete this project. And let's, let me go back to project one, and I'm going to delete this project as well. Maybe you are expecting that group assigned to their project, to that projects are going to be uh, deleted as well. So let me refresh this page. I will hit F5 and you will see after this page will going to be refreshed that I don't have project one and project two anymore. I delete them, but project one and project two groups are deleted, uh, are not deleted. So if you are going to have a, a, a multiple projects, many projects, and you are going to create separate group for each project, and after you are finished with your project and you don't need them anymore, and you are going to delete them, be aware that when you delete the project, the associate group with that project is not going to be deleted. So if you are admin, if you don't need those group anymore, and you, and you have admin permission, you can go here to admin center, to active groups, and you can uh, select here and say delete group. And then you, the group will delete it, okay?
I will do it, the same thing with the second group. So groups should be deleted manually manually through admin center after you delete it your pro uh, after you delete your project from project for the web they are not automatically deleted that was my point for today and thank you very much for your attention have a nice day